Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a little while since my last video, but I figured I'd treat y'all with a throwback <laughs> um, video of Brutus's training. I haven't forgotten about his video series. He's just kind of been on the back burner. I've taken it away from traditional training and just been working on trust building and hanging out with him. So he hasn't had much technical training, but I'm still gonna be posting all of his videos because I think it's important to share his whole journey. Spoiler alert, it's been months now. He's still not 100% trusting, but he is making good progress. And I think he will turn out to be a really good horse. As you can see in these videos, I'm kind of talking in them but that's not important. <laughs> What's important is the up-to-date information. But as you can see in these videos, he's, um, he's pretty underweight. He lost a lot of weight in the first few weeks I had him, and he didn't have a lot of weight to begin with, but I'm going to attach a photo of what he looks like now, and he has completely gained it all back and more. He looks amazing. He was just so stressed out being a new place when I first got him that he just wasn't happy and started losing weight, but he's put it all back on and more, and he looks absolutely amazing now. But I think that's enough talking for now. We'll just get to the video. This was um, him learning to stand tied and uh, stand still for grooming. As you can see, it's not tied to the post. Um, I've just kind of got it loosely wrapped, as I'm <laughs> explaining in the video, and I'll cut to the regular audio in a minute. But, um, it kind of helps him get the idea of staying in one space without hard tying him. And just this whole video is just me um, grooming him. But keep on watching for some uh, training tidbits. And I know Brutus is one of the favorites for a lot of people to watch. So if you're supportive of Brutus's journey, he's been a tough one. And it would really mean a lot if you drop a comment in support of his journey. He's come a long way. He still has a long way to go to the state. Like I said, these videos are from months and months and months ago. I've just been behind on editing his videos. And um, really, I've just taken the pressure off of him and just kind of focused on building a relationship with him rather than pushing him through groundwork and training. And I think it's going to pay off. I think he's going to be a really nice horse. But I'll shut up now and let it get back to the regular uh, video audio. So uh, keep watching for Brutus. Touchy. I'll just follow him the best I can. Wait for him to stop. Relax a little bit. And I'll bring him back up here where we started. That's as far as I'm going to go right now. I'm going to make a wide sweep and come around the other side. So I haven't practiced being around his hindquarters too much. You can see he doesn't like me trying to switch eyes on him. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he wants to follow me. Let's put you back up. Let me try that again. Wide 
nice circle. Good boy. That was better. That was better. That was the spot he was really sensitive about a couple weeks ago. Seems to be a lot more accepting of it now. So either he trusts me more or his ulcer medication has been working. But it's a lot better reaction. Good boy. All right. Done with this for right now. see exactly what we can get done with this. I'm not going to make it my goal to pick out his foot, but if the opportunity arises, I'm going to take it, make it quick, easy, and painless. Good boy. Sometimes when you set your goal on something, you do everything you can to make that happen. You might not be quite ready um, for this, so I'm not going to make it a goal today to get it done. Good. Remember we're starting with little gives on these feet. If you want to hear a little bit more about how I started this, go ahead and watch the video before this one. Pretty sticky. You are so sticky. Try and shift his weight off of it a little bit. Get a bit easier for me to snatch it up. Okay, buddy. If we could not, that would be great. Okay, there we go. I wasn't going to try and make that happen if he wasn't okay with holding his foot up and back like that for a little bit longer than I normally do, but uh, he was doing good, so I quickly snuck my pick in there and did a tiny bit of picking that out. So uh, I'm going to repeat this one more time. Hopefully it'll sink in. Come on. Get less heavy. Get less heavy. Oh my goodness.
Yay! He's kind of shut down about picking up the feet. Um, I wouldn't attempt that. I don't attempt anything with a horse without kind of sort of knowing what the reaction is going to be. He doesn't fully understand this yet, but I pretty much know he's going to stand there like a statue and just kind of be really stoic about it. Um, which is why I'm not going to push him super hard because he's holding in some like stubbornness, some emotions about this, and I don't want him to push him to the point where suddenly they just all explode out. Um, but I kind of, by spending a lot of time with him, I kind of get a feel for what um, what he's going to do if I do something like that, and uh, if I push him a little harder, uh, that he's just going to kind of sit there and take it. Um, I don't know, by spending a lot of time around a lot of Mustangs, you kind of get kind of get pretty good at predicting what they're going to do, you know. Not always. I make mistakes sometimes, but I kind of can't really imagine him exploding when I pick up a foot. That's just not something I see him doing. Even though, you know, obviously he's not good at it yet. Still's got a lot of learning to do. like me coming around behind him very much. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. You don't like it, do you? Wrapped him an extra time. Good boy. So before I ever, especially with a horse like this, before I ever start, you know, tapping the button walking around behind them, I make sure they're fine with me switching eyes like this. It'll probably be a while before I feel like he's ready for me to come around behind him while I'm standing tight. Come on, buddy. Okay, he's going to get tied a little bit harder. hold a little better. For him, it's probably going to be a while before we're both comfortable with me walking right behind him to switch eyes. Good boy. Yeah, a couple more times. Good boy. What I have here is a little bit of Green Horse Organics Beauty Balm. Um, this is my all-time favorite grooming product. Because even if you can't um, get in there and shampoo a mane or tail yet, uh, this stuff will go ahead and start uh, conditioning it for you. Um, it just softens everything up, it detangles, it, uh, it's almost like a hair mask. Here, I'll let y'all get a little better view of this. Brand new, barely even been touched. So I'm going to get a little bit in my hands here. And I'm going to go ahead and spread it all through his mane. Julius, stop. 
stop. He's angry. He hasn't been fed yet. He's poking his head through the Mustang pen and nudging at my camera to get my attention. go and I haven't I've brushed that man out like twice and you can see how few like hairs that pulled out because I went in with that green horse organics first to kind of detangle and soften everything up I was able to brush through his whole mane and hardly get any tangles all right now I've got my handy dandy rubber bandies oh my god I'm so lame <laughs> I've got uh, some rubber bands on my fingers here. I'm going to go ahead and start braiding his mane. Easy. Did you fall asleep there? Did I wake you up from your nap? So not only will these braids help train his mane to all stay together on one side, but it's also going to lock in the moisture of this beauty balm and keep on conditioning that mane. Good boy. Ah. Look at that handsome stallion. Still got some weight to put on though. Can't wait till he finally fills out. I can get his feet trimmed. Oh, they look horrible. We're working on that. And I can get them all bathed up and pretty. Braids are a good start though. Well, thank you guys for watching Day Something with Brutus. Um, he was a very good boy today. Learned a couple new things. 
improved on a lot of things. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Probably next time I do a training session with him, I'm going to hard tie him and then really work on getting him soft, picking up those front feet. And then I'm going to continue working on um, getting him comfortable with me near his hind end, continue working on touching it, and then I'll start working on picking up those feet, um, touching that tail so I can brush it out and shampoo it real good, and just overall getting him more comfortable with me doing domestic things to him. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, make sure to subscribe to follow this guy's training. He has his whole playlist with all his training videos in it. I try not to miss a single training session. Sometimes life gets in the way and um, I have to miss filming a few sessions. But um, I try my best to put good quality content out for you guys. So make sure to like, share with your friends, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos of Brutus and of Julius, my annoying camera horse. <laughs> In case you were wondering why it's so difficult to get stuff. Rory, don't be mean. <laughs> They're all grouchy because I went and worked with Brutus before feeding anyone breakfast. I know. But that's uh, why it's so difficult to get still shots around here because even when I put Rory, be nice. Even when I put my tripod inside the round pin, it was sitting over here in this corner, Julius still reached through the fence to let me know that he wasn't happy that I hadn't fed him or paid him any attention yet. Aw, oh, you being nice. Are you being nice? Anyways, that's about it for this video, y'all. Stay tuned.